Anyway, let me switch off this thing. The tires for the camera. Clear eyesight 09. Said those are bad guys go to Kanesh. Kanesh is also the bad guy. How long are we gonna run? Sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us with throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. I need a hand with Kunesh. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. Hmm. Huh? Kanesh, get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. Right, we stand right here, I guess. <laughs> What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Fuck it! Oh, ah. yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Is that... Ah. Ah. Take that! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Okay, you trunk card. There's nothing here, right? Okay, what's the next next thing? Bag of charcoal. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. Oh, 
supposed to be worn that God Schnell, you, Henry. Schnell or whatever it's called. Greetings. This thing, right? One one, no way. We don't have money, where how are we gonna play guys? Hail to the hero! So you haven't changed your mind about learning the craft of warfare. Yet. How are you? How much charcoal do we need? Bag of charcoal. Can we do something about the price? Why not? I think it was both ways whenever you want to buy cheap or sell here. Select the amount, whatever you want to pay or get the billionaires to confirm with each trailer. Then respond your offer. If the answer is a refusal, he or she will make a counter offer and wait for your response. Current offer. Original purchase price, your money, your last offer accepted by the trader, or accepted by the trader's last offer. This ladder can be moved in one direction or other. It means either you or the trader does not have enough money. Dragging out the haggling with one after another will gradually try the trader's patience and eventually they will drop the haggling completely. You can see how close you are getting to that point from the trader icon below the bar. More gold there is in the background. Was the trader is to dropping the haggling. Every unsuccessful bout of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. A 
Are we agreed? Less. I'll go for that. Oh, we have to buy 10 bags. Right. It was just one bag. But let's steal. Let's steal stuff. You can just look around, you know. What's up? Save my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Don't worry, dearest. It's cool. This evening I'll see you right. Oh, how? I do hope so. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya? I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin rubbing on his wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me for well, that later. costs a lot. Yeah, I will. Hundred. She gave us five. I don't want to tap their ass. If it's charcoal, you won't talk to my hired hand. I've no time now. Hey, lady, where did you go? Bianca. Hey. 
Anyway. Oh, there she is. So what are we to do with you, Henry? The Deutsches, Mom. Oh, don't talk to me about him. He's a good customer. But when it comes to politics, he's unbearable. The well, I'd say he's an exception. Take care. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So. Are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Let's talk about the price. Naturally. What do you say to this? That's better. Drop in a bit more and we'll call it a deal. Aye, that would do it. Ooh, that thing is done. <laughs> Scary. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far.
very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Not bad. Again. Good. Once again. Nice. Nice. Now you're getting it. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Nice. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Very good. Now you're getting it. Good. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Cool. Now let's go collect the guard or something. What's it called? Cross guard, I think. with you I'm with you Henry how are you I've just been to the tavern the Deutsch was saying all kinds of shit about how Sigismund should be king that bastard one day he'll get his teeth knocked down his throat if he doesn't shut up father sent me we're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the crossguard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <sighs> Where shall I start? <laughs> ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Let's run to father. Father! I got the stuff. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sassau did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Oh, damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? 
Good. We fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. I think we bought more than enough charcoal. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Right. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war, he knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. He's putting the sword by the tip down. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. Beautiful sword. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room.
I already got the nails, so. There it is. Are you supposed to be getting? <laughs> God, God above, have you gone deaf? Are you all right? <laughs> what are you loitering around? Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. What are you Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Want to see my sword? There it is. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Then try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sven? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, says Svan. Have a safe journey to Sapphire. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets here beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. Yeah! 
A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? It's a whole army. Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. What about you? Follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sorrento. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Bro, the arrows are reaching their tower and stuff. Holy shit. Was that Bianca that died there? I don't know. He's running with the big, big sword. He 
can save this here, right? One save your shit. How to draw the sword? How do you draw the sword? Help Teresa get away from her. supposed to fight. <laughs> This is so fucked up. Where is our horse? They're trying to rape her or? Mount. You could use a stealth approach. Why am I so stupid? This thing is rigged.
I actually killed him. I mean, hit him. Something. Oh, more have come. What happens to Theresa? Kill them, you know, if I can try. Yeah. Short by now. At least I killed one guy, right? to the left along the stream. They just won't leave us, won't they?
I thought like how much to run now. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tatars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um... I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. 
Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Sir Robert. is before noon the day after tomorrow. Well, I suppose it can wait another day. Tell him to come then. I will. Thank you. Look out. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Well, thank you. Lady, you are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> Bro, his mother and father died, and he's being so casual. When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes, thank you. 